Capital FM. You're waking up to Belfield at breakfast. <laughs> what are you doing? No, I'm not doing anything. I promise it's verging you. on pornographic. <laughs> No, we don't want you to leave. Well, we love you in there. You're very kind, thank you. And we don't want you to go. 98.4, Capital FM. What is that? What would you like to say? <laughs> oh, obviously didn't want to say anything. Line two. <laughs> right, I warned you before, I'm going to tell you for the final time. If you laugh again, I'm going to cut you off. And these idiots can write to this newspaper and they can slag me off in emails. Stop. It's not funny that you're gay. You won't have what they call the skill. Alex Belfield. Get a life. Listen to Capital. Good morning, Nairobi. I have no bullet cover. I'm getting better, yeah. In the news this morning, there's concern about cosmetic testing on animals. I disagree with it. I think they should test on students. I mean, it's not fair, is it? You don't want to find dog hairs on your lipstick. Alex Belfield. People may not take what I'm saying serious, but... The thing I particularly object to is cosmetic testing on octopuses. Well, they have more risks. Alex Belfield, a whole new meaning to a big breakfast. I'm well, my darling. How are you? I'm very well for my age. Oh, oh well, you don't know mine. Now, <laughs> How old are you? 104? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Right. And you're a woman that sounds like a woman. <laughs> you clearly fancy me. You are everything that this world deserves. Oh, absolutely. And as soon as I get drunk, I'll come and see you, Alex. I How's don't that? blame you. You would need to be drunk to fancy me, but I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> you would love it. Now, are you going to be barefooting in the kitchen, Alex? I would never be barefoot. Enough about your kinky fantasies, my darling. I'll have to go. <laughs> Ta-ra. Bye. Nice to talk to you. Good morning, Nairobi. It's 98.4 Capital FM. Let's go live to the phones this morning. Good morning, Capital. Oh, no. Daft cow. Good morning from Capital Sean, I don't know if you've seen the front page of The Sun today, but there's an amazing story about BSE. Now, if you've not heard about this, it's a terrible thing in the UK. Many tens of thousands of cattle have had to have been slaughtered, but out of this disaster, a miracle has occurred as a very, very thin cow has been saved. Yeah, called Phoenix, I think. No, no, Posh Spice. Wake up with a jerk, capital A.